Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install Lambda 1 VR onto your Oculus Quest. So this could be Quest 1, Quest 2, I've got Quest 2, could be potentially a future Quest device as well. So why is Lambda 1 VR? I'm sure you already know if you're watching this video, but it allows you to install the original Half-Life onto your Quest in VR. So you can look around, you know, in VR. And it's pretty simple to do. A few things that you need. You need a Quest headset. You need to make sure you set up side quests as well. I've got a separate video covering that for Mac. And I've done this video plus the side quest videos for Windows as well and Linux. So feel free to check them out if you aren't on a Mac OS. The other thing that you need is a copy of the original Half-Life because we'll need some of the asset files for legal purposes. They cannot be distributed. Also, I'm just going to be showing you how to do it via Steam and on the new OS's like Catalina which removed 32-bit support you can't install Half-Life you have to basically do a workaround which I'm going to show you how to do so it's not really going to be much hassle for you if you're on an older, older OS for Mac you can just directly go into Steam install Half-Life and just get the asset files as I'll be showing you later on. But yeah, so make sure you have a copy of Half-Life. If you have it via another means, that's fine, as long as you have the asset files. Again, not condoning piracy. This video is for educational purposes. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is get hold of Half-Life on Steam. So like I was saying, if you're on a newer OS like Catalina or Big Sur or potentially a newer one, you can't just go into Steam and download it because 32-bit is not supported. So first of all, open up Terminal, you can search for it right here. And there's a couple of commands you want to run. I will provide both of these in the description so you can just easily copy and paste. So copy the first one and go to Terminal. And what this does is it forces Steam to download Half-Life. So if I click Enter, and now if we were to launch up Steam, you'll see there will be something in the download section. There's nothing there because I've already got it downloaded, but if you didn't have Half-Life downloaded, it would actually start downloading Half-Life. So if we go... So you'll see the mice already downloaded for me. So this right here will actually you know start downloading using this command right here but again you want to make sure steam is shut off you want to make sure steam is shut off you want to make sure you copy that command and actually no i made a mistake sorry the, this command is slightly incorrect it should be 70 there it should be 70 70 is the app id for half-life so again if i just control c if i paste this now Go into Steam. There we go. That's triggered it. That's a little mistake on my part. You'll start downloading it. I'm going to pause it for now because I've already got it downloaded. So click pause. Once you successfully start it, you know, finish downloading, you don't need Steam on or off for this stage, but I'll turn it off. You want to use this command. This just copies over the, the Half Life folder into your document so it's easily accessible so again you just go to here paste click enter i'm not going to click enter because i've already done this thing and you overwrite it with what's partially being downloaded which i don't want but you click enter and once you click enter we can close this down now if we open up a new window and if we go to documents we'll get a folder called half life and from here we need this valve folder. We need to copy this over onto our headset. So we've got the Half-Life assets now. Pretty simple to do this. What you want to do is grab hold of, open up SideQuest. I've got a separate video covering how to set it up. So feel free to check that out. And I'm going to plug this in now. I've got a massive cable here. So plug it in. So again, got a separate video covering how to set this up. You'll probably say unauthorized. Oh, no. So if it was unauthorized, put your headset on, click allow, 
a few times and you should be all good to go the first thing what we want to do is search for lambda 1 vr and this right here not the launcher just the regular lambda 1 vr and click install to headset we can go to this notification section it's downloading the apk it's very small because again this isn't the whole game this is just the code that's been ported over the assets is what we've just downloaded and we're going to be copying over now go to the folder section and we need a new folder called xafh so go to the add and go to make folder in this folder so xash click make folder and if you open this in here is where you want to copy over your val folder so copy this onto here go to the notifications and this is copying everything over so there's obviously a fair bit of files to copy over because the see how big this is in total so this is just under half a gig but as you can see this slowly just copying everything over and there you go we are done now we are ready to actually launch up half-life on our headset so here we can close this down we can close side quest down as well you can see side quest now like i said i will provide both of these commands in the description so you don't have to type them out and let me actually show you it working now this is really cool stuff seeing half-life the original half-life in vr and with the recent port of doom 3 via the doom 3 quest application i've got hope that they'll port over and um, be able to port over half-life 2 onto the quest headset because this is standalone you don't need a computer anymore so let me just put this on and let me share the screen so you can actually see what i'm seeing Ooh, that did not go on properly okay so cast computer next and she should be seeing the screen any moment now Okay, so you can see the screen now. Now, if from here you go to apps and you'll probably have this view, go to the drop down, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to unknown sources, select Lambda 1 VR. If you've installed multiple stuff after that, you might be a little further down. Click that and it launches. And there's a few things that you can change in the configuration. So feel free to experiment here like video options as well which is pretty cool you can show the fps and you can check mess around with the controls etc so i'm gonna go on a new game go to medium and let me grab the other controller as well here we go we have our hands we can move around and we can look around as you can see the the textures and the models do look really poor because you know it's an old late 90s game that's been mapped to this high resolution vr display what i'm going to do is create a separate video on how to show you to you know how to upgrade this to hd with hd models i wanted to do a separate video because just in case you didn't want that part obviously you can watch both videos so here we go so obviously we've got our hands we can interact with stuff and uh, we can pause it using the menu button on the left controller. The right controller is what we use to look, you know, move the cursor. And the index trigger is what we use to select. So click quit. Uh, yes, you can still see screen. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I'm going to stop sharing. Stop casting. Okay, so that is it. It is that simple to install Lambda 1 VR onto your Oculus Quest headset, allowing you to play Half-Life in VR. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. There will be a link in the description to the Discord channel, which has about 1,500 members now. There's usually about 50 to 100 members always online helping each other. So that's the best place. Plus, there'll be other contact details as well. Or just you know, feel free to comment. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.